Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about arithmetic operators in java so guys these are some of the arithmetic operators in java that we can use so as you can see we have addition operator subtraction multiplication division remainder and then we can increment or decrement the values of the variables as well so guys let us understand all this with the help of examples so guys previously we have seen how we can define the integer variables so we have to provide the int data type followed by the variable name so let's say we have number 1 and equal to we have the value of number as 5 and let us say guys we have another number so we provide int and then we have number 2 equal to 10 and then guys let us say we want to add both these numbers and print the addition of both these numbers over here on console so what we are going to do is we are having another variable of data type int and then we have the variable name as sum which will contain the sum of these two numbers and then what we will do is we will provide the variable names that is number 1 and then we use this plus sign this is the arithmetic operator that we can use in order to add numbers so after the plus sign we have another number that is number 2 followed by semicolon and guys in this way we can add two numbers using the variable names so as you can see it is being assigned to the sum and then what we will do is we will just print the statement so let me print this the sum is and then after this we have plus sign and then followed by sum guys it is important to note that we are providing the sum is so this is the string and then we are concatenating the value of the number over here with this plus sign so the plus operator over here it is for concatenation and it is not for adding two numbers so the plus operator is having different functionalities based on the values that it is being used with so let me just save this file and try running this code So as you can see we have the sum is 15 so we can simply change the numbers over here we can have 15 that is number 1 and we can have the number 2 as 12 let me save this file and try running this code so as you can see we have the sum is 27 and in this way you can easily add two numbers guys similarly we have other operators as well that is subtraction so we can easily subtract two numbers so let's say we want number 1 minus number 2 and the difference being stored in a variable so we provide the minus operator over here and then let me change the variable name to difference and let me just copy this and paste this over here instead of sum let me save this file and try running this code so as you can see the sum is 3 so we missed to paste the difference over here as well so the difference so basically it is doing 15 minus 12 that is the difference will be 3 let me save this file and try running this code so the difference is 3 over here in the same way we can do multiplication as well so instead of this minus we can provide the multiplication operator so we have the product variable over here so let me provide the variable name as product let me copy this paste this over here and we'll paste it to the variable name that is being used let me save this file and try running this code so as you can see it is doing the product is 180 that means 15 multiply by 12 which is 180 let us move to another operator we have divide operator so guys over here we can easily divide the two numbers so let's say we have number 1 divided by number 2 we will provide the variable name as division over here let me copy this and paste this over here and paste this over here now guys let us see what will be the output of division when this number that is 15 cannot be exactly be divided by this 12 so we'll just run this code so as you can see the division is 1 guys it is important to note over here that this will return the quotient of the division so 15 divided by 12 in this case the quotient will be 1 and that is what is being printed over here in the division so in order to get the remainder we have another operator that is percentage operator so instead of this divide we can have percentage let me change the variable name to remainder over here and then we just copy this and paste this over here and paste this over here let me save this file and try running this code so 15 divided by 12 the remainder will be 3 and in this way we can get the remainder as well 
Now guys, two more important operators. These are increment and decrement. So this will just increment the value by one, which means whatever value a variable is having, one will be added to that value and it will be stored in that particular variable. And this decrement is opposite to increment. So one will be subtracted from the variable's value. So let us understand this with the help of examples. So let's say we just have a number that is number one equal to 15. And what if we just want to increment it? So what we can do is we can just put number one plus plus. So guys, this is the way we can use the increment that is after the variable name, we can provide the plus plus operator that is the increment operator. And then we can provide the value is and then the name of the variable. So I'll just copy this and paste this over here. Let me save this file and try running this code. So as you can see, the value is 16. Guys, another way of providing this increment operator is instead of providing the plus plus operator after the variable, we can provide it before the variable as well. So we can do plus plus number one as well. Let me save this file and try running this code. So as you can see, the value is 16. And in this way, you can easily use the increment operator. Let's say you want to use a decrement operator. So instead of having plus plus, we can have minus minus and then variable. So we have the value is 14. So the value was 15, but now we have decremented it. So one was removed from it. So now the value is 14. So guys, in this way, we can easily use the increment and decrement operators as well. Guys, there is a question for you over here. Let's say I want to increment the value of number one variable, but inside this print ln statement, what if I do number one plus plus over here? What will be the output? I want you to comment below the answer for this. That is what statement will be printed. The value is so what number will be printed over here. So please comment below and let me know your answer. So that's it in this video. Please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well. The next video that we are going to talk about is conditional if else statement in Java programming. So stay tuned.